Hey people, Fernando doing our video, and in this case again with Star Citizen, my yes favorite game at the moment, and what I'm I'm really enjoying, and I understand that it's one of these games that a lot of people struggle with for a number of reasons. There's a lot of misinformation regarding, is this really a scam? Is it still an alpha and not fully developed? Can I even play it? I've heard it's so difficult, so hard. Anyway, let's get to it. And this is going to be a bit of a longer video. This is going to be a bit of a tutorial for you guys that are thinking of playing this game. So this is usually the way you start whenever you play Star Citizen. Probably you're not going to be naked like I am, right? except for those shorts. Probably start playing with a suit of some kind. But you will definitely start in one of the several cities that you have across Star Citizen. So we're going to be getting up by pressing the Y key and our guy gets out of his little bed in, his, in this little... Uh, apartment of his. I am in Horizon or Horizon, depending on how you want to call it, which is a city literally in the clouds. Um, it's Crusader, which is a gas giant, and the city is literally just floating out there. So, it's kind of distracting or confusing. What is it that you do? I mean, you just woke up in this place. Well, with WSAD, you simply move around, and of course, with your mouse, you can see in a number of different directions. You're going to be used to pressing the F key, which is going to be allowing you, along with your mouse, left click and using different you know, elements in the world. You just get a little bit closer, open, and yes, that's the toilet right there. You cannot, you cannot use it, at least not right now, but that's how you interact with things in the world. By keeping F pressed, you will get close and left click on the mouse you will be able to interact you can get back on the bed sit again well not in this case yeah there you go you can sit lie down so as to log out one of the uh, questions that a lot of people have you have the option of just hitting the s key and just leaving you just leave the game and you're gonna be saved um, whatever progress you made in that place. If you log out when you're in one of the cities, that's pretty much it. You don't have to worry about going and saving your game. It saves automatically whatever progress you made. So, one of the things that confuse people is how is it that you navigate? Do you have a map? Well, you have your Mobi class, which with F1 you're going to be accessing, it's that thing on your wrist, like a cell phone. And here you see a few things. You have here Comlink, you see how much money you have, which by the way, if you're starting to play Star Citizen, this is the best moment. Use the referral code there below. This is the last day of the promotion by which if you use a referral code and buy a game a package which will include some ship, I recommend the Aurora MR. That's your basic starter ship, it's just fine. I started with the Avenger Titan, a little bit more expensive, you can go with that too, but don't worry, just buy the cheapest one. Using the referral code though, you will get an extra 5,000 bucks of in-game money, which is always nice to start with, and also you will be getting an extra ship, uh, a bike that is, uh, it's called the Drake Dragonfly, which is actually quite cool. So remember, last day today, so make good use of that. Here we have a few keys, we have... Um, vehicle loadout here is where you manage your ships and where you can modify them change different systems weapons knickknack shows you where you left stuff across the system skyland is sort of your map which here you have the system which is called stanton you have the sun the star there i'm currently right here in crusader it's not a great map but it gives you an idea of what you have so you have crusader hurston you have Microtech and Arcorp. These are the planets. Besides that, each planet has a few moons. You have three moons here. You have, And you can visit all of this. This is basically a simulator. You can go to each of the surfaces of these moons and planets. And you can cover them all fully to their... To their a complete extent you can visit caves you can visit there's a river right now in in microtech which is the first one and you have the arcorp planet which is an entire city covering the entire planet uh, yeah which is you know kind of interesting of course you cannot visit the entire city covering the entire planet uh, you can land i think in most of it uh, 
maybe in all of it, I mean, I've never gave it a try. But basically what you have is, in each of these planets, you have a main city. So, I'm in Horizon right now. In the case of Hurston, the city is going to be Lorville, right? You see that there, Lorville. And above that city, there's a station where it's outside of the atmosphere. Each, each city has a sister station in space, in orbit. Besides that, you have these little uh, space stations, Hurl L1, Hurston L1, L2, Crusader. All of these are also places where you can visit land. You have uh, you know, food, sh shops, and you can sleep there as well. You can log out mostly because you don't actually sleep. Basically, that's how you have the system. And with your ship, you just move around. Uh, let me go through the entire Moby Glass. One of the things uh, you have here as well is to send money to people, you know, other players. And this is something you're going to be using a lot. This is your contract manager. This is how you actually play the game for the most part. So in your contract manager, you have different contracts. So you have to do things. Deliver stuff. Search in you know uh, crash sites. Research, you know, deploying, um, uh, de deploying probes, investigation, finding out lost people, maintenance, you know, removing stuff, bounty hunting, the combat missions, mercenary, you know, call to arms. Remember to always activate this. I'm going to be activating it myself right now. Uh, always activate call to arms because whenever you defeat a hostile, an enemy, you're going to be getting paid for that. Provide backup. This would be some of the bunker missions. You go down, do FPS, and an author of surveillance detection. This is uh, another combat mission where you destroy these certain probes that are all around a, a satellite. Here you have vehicle maintenance service. This is what you use when you are in your ship. So to repair it. Journal, really don't use this all that much, but you have you know some stuff to read there. And Delphi, this is the reputation that you have with the different factions depending on what you do. The more you uh, do a certain type of mission, the more you build up that reputation, and the more you advance and get paid more for that kind of job back here in your contract manager. So, for example, delivering stuff, uh, the first del delivery missions are only going to be paying me 3000 They can go up to you know 45000 or more, depending on what you're doing, but it's a matter of improving your reputation so seven minutes into this and i know it's going to be taking a while let's interact with this f open now here i don't have to worry about the atmosphere because this is all breathable the planets are all breathable so far in star citizen look at the beautiful graphics in this thing it really blows my mind and again it's a simulator that the freedom that you have here is is amazing that shuttle right there we're going to be picking one of those so as to go to the space station so the first thing you want to do is of course go get your spaceship and this is a little bit confusing for some people where do i go well it's usually the same old thing you basically have to get yourself to the spaceport and for that you just have to leave your apartment building or habitation unit or whatever it is that you have and then find transport to that station you have some stores and you can buy stuff right now I'm standing here and yeah I'm pretty much naked so the thing I'm gonna be doing is pressing the I key I'm gonna be accessing my inventory and here is where I can get some you know armor and here I have my basic suit this is the undersuit the undersuit is what you need so as to actually use a helmet I don't need it right now, but if you are in one of the space stations, if you don't have this, you die when you go outside, of course. So this is what you need so as to have your space suit on. Let's get a little bit something fancier and go with this, this suit instead. Nicer armor. And yeah, there we go. Now, keep in mind, this is alpha. There's lots of glitches around here. This stuff happens all the time. You cannot bring out your gun in the armistice uh, zones, you know, the, the cities and stations. You can only have them holstered or you know, sling across your back. But you cannot actually put them on until you are out of the limits of the city. Magazines and so on, you have to attach them just like I'm doing, dragging and dropping. 
You can, of course, buy all of this stuff in a number of stores. You can also buy food in many places around, like this one. You can interact. Thank you for coming in. Okay. <laughs> Eat, you know, fruit and this, you know, any of these things so as to keep your uh, food and drink levels, which you eventually will need to replenish. So, either a train, which is usually a train, train for Lorville, Microtech, and in R Corp, and in the case of Horizon, it's gonna be a shuttle like the one I'm seeing right there, which I probably won't reach before it departs. I'll try to get there as fast as I can. You know, jumping a little bit. Ah, oh, that's too bad. Just left. So this is one of the frustrating things that people struggle with at first in Star Citizen. For example, I have to wait 37 seconds until a new one drops by. You get used to it. The cool thing though is that you don't have any waiting or loading windows once you start playing. So even though this is a little bit frustrating, someone left their maybe a medical gone. Yeah, <laughs> typical. So this is what you get when you respawn. One of the things you have to do also is set a respawn location. Once you die in Star Citizen, your body stays there. You don't magically you know, uh, b b come back to life. What happens in the game is once you die, you're regenerated like a clone of yours is made uh, and you're going to be appearing in some hospital somewhere. And you can change the location of where you're going to be spawning uh, when you're regenerated by selecting it in each hospital. So if I go to a hospital in or in Horizon and I set my spawn, which is actually about over there, I think. So yeah, that's the hospital right there. And that building there, yeah, that's where you are respawned or regenerated when you die. Now this means that when you die, you're going to be losing all your stuff. Your stuff is going to be staying there with your body. So there's a possibility that you can go back and pick it up again. Uh, there's a possibility that someone finds it and steals it, or that you just, you know, are blown out of the ga of the of space, and your body is impossible to recover, and you lose all your stuff. Get used to the idea of losing stuff. That's why usually you don't take with you your fancier gear. You usually get along stuff that is, yeah, is something that you wouldn't miss miss all that much. So that's why you're gonna be seeing a lot of this, a lot of. A white suit people moving around instead. Now we are already here in the space a station, right? There we have next stop Skyway shuttle download station. And yeah, lots of traveling around <laughs> in, in Star Citizen. Um, you, you learn to not get attached to stuff. Uh, and you also learn to farm a lot of gear, armor, and guns. Um, once you get to the station, you're going to be using an elevator of some sort as to get to the actual spaceport. Alright, shuttle station. Now I'm going to be going down to the August Dunlow spaceport and there's where I'm going to be getting my ship. So this can be a little bit overwhelming at first, and especially when it comes to uh, you know the, the space flying combat. It is, it is the kind of thing that takes a little bit of practice. But you definitely can learn and improve with, with, with some practice. Just don't get frustrated. Be patient. You can even rent ships like right there. Uh, you don't really need a lot more. I mean, for example, here you can just rent a, a bunch of ships. That's the Avenger Titan that I, that I started with. My advice, though, is learn to make money in game. I mean, it is, a, it is a cool game, and there's really not a whole lot more to do than actually just play it and, and enjoy it. A food, you know, burger store, that sort of thing. You're going to be finding um, a monitor like this one, right? In, in, in the lobby, you will find uh, a screen somewhat like this, and when you interact with the screen, again, F key, uh, you're going to be claiming your ship. So, for example, if I claim uh, my... For example, if I if I start with a Aurora, one of the advantages, if I make a claim after the ship was destroyed, and it will get destroyed, and you will die, and your ship will need to be claimed. Now, the smaller ships have a very fast claim delivery time, so 47 seconds. Now, the bigger the ship, 
and the more expensive it is, the larger the ship, usually the more time it gets. For example, the Origin 400i that I have here, this is going to be 35 minutes, guys, of waiting until you get your ship again. So there's an advantage in the smaller ships like the Aurora, like the Avenger Titan, that can be claimed pretty quickly. Right now, I'm going to be taking out my Cuddy Black, the Drake Cutlass Black. Retrieve, and I'm being told now where that ship is being delivered. All right. Hangar 07. Okay, we can actually go there and pick it up. Again, an elevator. Make sure you don't step into the void if it takes a little bit to, to load correctly. Hangar 07. All right. That was actually a little bit fast, so that's nice. And here's where I have my Cuddy Black. This is why you play Star Citizen, the awesome fully detailed ships. Look at this landing gear. <laughs> the, the amount of detail this thing has. And the Cuddy Black is, is one of the classic ships. Now if you want to buy this uh, with real money as a starter ship, you can, but it's going to be a hundred bucks. You can actually make enough money in game in a day or two and buy it in game. Once you learn, it's a skill based game, guys. There's a lot of fixation with how expensive ships are, and they are. They are super expensive. I completely get it. For example, now it's not working, cannot close that door, doesn't matter. Usually, if something doesn't work in Star Citizen, usually you have another way around it. Let's actually take a seat. I have some gear here stored in this box. Let me see what I have there. So yeah, I have some guns and stuff. I, I have a little bit of better armor there. Actually thinking of give it another go. No, it doesn't want to work anyway. Doesn't matter. In the control panel of the ship, I have the option. So as to start your ship, you have to do the following: take a seat, F, right? You can actually give it a quick click on F, and it's going to be sitting if you're aiming right. If your aim is correct. Now my ship is already turned on. If it's off, which you can turn it off with with U with with uh, you you turn off with R with R you turn your ship on with I you turn off and on the engines now I have to request uh, to the station to open the hangar for me to leave so F1 I'm gonna be going into comlink and friends here I have horizon landing services here is where I communicate with them and they now know I want to leave the same thing goes for landing. Once I'm within 8,000 meters or so, using those same uh, friends and uh, landing services, that's how you request a landing pad or hangar so as to land. Now I'm good to go. I'm going to be pressing F4 so as to have a third eye view. And, I, and, and keeping Z pressed down, I can move the mouse and look around. Get used to doing this a lot so as to know where you are and how you're moving. With the space bar, I can actually move it up a little bit. Space bar. And now, just as before, WSAD. Now, F4 again, it's going to be bringing me to that first uh, uh, view position. Keeping F pressed down, I'll actually look around and you know operate some of these controls. Open exterior. I actually want to close the exterior. So I hit on that, and with F4 again, I see that it's actually closing. So even though the button didn't actually work, which is not all that uncommon, it could happen. But this is you know, a good way. With N, I'm going to be bringing that landing gear up again. And since this is a cutty, I have the VTOL mode with K. So as to go into VTOL mode, this is going to be making it very quick to go up or just using this and moving forward. Now the basic way of navigating and look at this view. This is why we play this game. It just looks fantastic. With C I go into couple or decoupled mode. C is gonna be the key I use for that. When it's in decoupled it's gonna be moving forward at maximum speed as much as the wheel on my mouse allows. You see that red box there on the left bar moving up and down I'm giving its maximum speed and pushing forward with this I'm gonna be leaving the atmosphere 
uh, in Horizon. This will take a while, and Horizon is actually one of the worst places to get started because it has one of the thicker atmospheres in the game. And, and yeah, you just have to leave the atmosphere before you can go into space. So this is just the way the game is, you know. This is why you probably don't want to start in Horizon, and this is why you usually uh, set your spawn position in one of the medical units in in the um, in, in orbit rather than planet side, rather than in the cities. Just makes things a lot easier. Right now, I just have to keep on going, but this is gonna be giving me uh, you know the opportunity to explain a few more things. You see the altimeter, which is really not working all that great right now, but keep a track on that. You also have the option of using the tap button, which sends like a ping signal. This is actually quite useful for finding objects. Sometimes it shows like a little box. It says that, for example, there on the bottom right, 13, it just says that there's something there. Uh, on the right. It's actually showing me a box that I have inside my ship because that box that you saw before uh, isn't originally there. So it's finding that with a ping. If it's you know 10 kilometers away, well there's something over there and you can just go check it out. It's also good for taking a look at the surface of the planet if it's very dark, right? So yeah, that is a horizon down there floating in the gas giant. F4 again, going back to the first person perspective. Um, you use the, the shift key so as to give it a boost, right? Moving forward at shift, it's going to be burning through that boost on the left. Make sure you don't go past the red. And um, there's this thing that could be that the, the components get damaged. I don't know how much truth there is to that, but usually you want to keep it there uh, within. Uh, within the white and avoid the red. When you travel further away, you know, going back to the the system and the the the, the map, how is it that you cover all of these distances? Well, you do that with quantum travel. You access quantum travel in your ship by hitting the B button. Now I'm in quantum mode, and now I can see the boxes where I can quantum travel to if I have enough fuel. You see on the right, uh, past the altimeter, I have the hydro, uh, hydrogen fuel, which is for you know uh, driving the ship normally, and then you have quantanium, which is for quantum travel fuel. Uh, as long as you have enough fuel, you can travel across the system. If not, you can refuel using the F1 key sitting on a pad in any planet or moon or space station and going into vehicle maintenance you're gonna be able here to see a screen where you actually can refuel, repair and restock your ship. Now because I'm still within the atmosphere I cannot quantum travel I can hit the B button once and twice and see how you know, once and again and see how it's activated. Make sure that you get used to going in and out of quantum travel mode whenever you're in, in combat. Because when you're in, in, in quantum travel mode, you cannot target your hostiles, your enemies. I mean, I can use my guns when I leave the armistice zone, but I won't be able to target with T. T is what you use to target. Now I'm throwing a number of, of, of keys here. Best thing to do is go with your uh, ESC uh, key and take a look at options. And here you have controls, bindings, and here you see what each key does. So as I said, uh, T, reticle lock, unlock on your target. You can actually assign things to your different keys. Now you see these that have changed to blue. This means I can now actually quantum travel. Once it finishes calibrating and spooling, I have to just keep B down, long press on B, and then I'm quantum traveling immediately to that area. Now this is pretty fast. As you see, I'm moving still forward and going faster because I'm in D coupled. It's hitting C again means I'm changing to couple mode, right? And here you see one of the stations. This is Port Olisar, the sister station of uh, Horizon. And I can actually land here, and I'll show you just that in this, uh, right this moment. I actually have this hotkey with F3. I suggest you do that as well uh, in your options menu, but you can do just this. 
go into F1, Moby Glass, Comlink, Friends, Port Allister Landing Services, and I'll request a landing pad for my ship. And as you see, I'm being indicated, it's I'm being told that I can land here. B again, so as to go out of the quantum travel mode. And here is where you approach. Again, get used to using F4 and going into that third eye view so as to land. So this is the part one of the tutorial. Basic navigation, moving around. Part two is going to be doing some actual missions and a little bit of combat, right? Make sure F4, long hold Z down, so as to look around, and so as to bring down that landing gear. It's being told that I'm blocking. You have to be very careful with not committing crimes because, yes, you will end up in jail in Star Citizen if you commit crimes like blocking landing pads. And now I'm good. I just landed successfully so. As I told you, I can just t turn off engines, which is what you should do. And F1, I can go back here to my maintenance button and repair and refuel my ship. I don't have to restock anything, so I'm good there. I only have to activate these, and that's enough. You know, leaving it there, I can just leave the seat and go into the station. Just make sure, whenever you go into space, make sure you have your suit on. That's pre pre important, crucial part. Is this working? Now it's working. You know, with magic of the alpha stage. Now, I, I see, oh yeah, <laughs> almost jumped into the nothingness. And that's okay, you can actually do that, it's not a big deal. Everything here is a simulation of what it should be if you're like in actual real space. For example, I can just go into a you know, third person perspective and just jump into space, right? And that's fine. Make sure though that these pads do have gravity. So if you approach them, make sure you're not too high because you will fall and you will die if you're just too high. So use that Z option so as to move around a bit and don't fall from too high because whoop, you drop into that surface. Now that I'm good, I'm going into port uh, uh, all the star and here is where I'll store my ship. I'll just show you how to do that in this you know, <laughs> very basic 30 minute long video. Opening door, cycling because there's air inside and I can actually take off my helmet in here. Right now, yes, I do have breathable air and I'm okay with doing that. I have a few stores here. I have, uh, you know, guns being sold, defense, yeah. This is armor actually, you can buy armor there. You can get yourself weapons. My advice, though, is watch part two of this tutorial. I'll actually show you how to, you know, get stuff without buying anything. Just do missions and stock up on whatever it is that you need. Here is where you go into that, those same screens and these monitors. You have to store your ship. So I scroll down to my Cuddy Black, storing it. Make sure you click on that, and the ship is now stored. Okay, whenever I need it again, I just come back here and claim my Cuddy Black so as to actually uh, use it. Here you can buy components and yeah, you have the component store, you have your clothes, which is <laughs> something you can wear, you know, stuff you can, and systems and weapons for your ship sold in Dumpster's Depot right there. So guys, that's a basic tutorial of how you get started in Star Citizen. I'll see you on part two of the video. Take care.